Hello everybody, I'm Steve Andrews, co-founder of GSM Tennis. Uh, got some really cool stuff today for you uh, on the serve and our title today is Do You Know the ABCs? Uh, kind of a different title when it comes to serving, but I think you're really going to like it in what we're discussing today. So, do you know the ABCs? A, in case you guys don't know it, there's a certain type of serve that we like to use in doubles and singles that starts with A. And that is, A stands for alley. That's when you hit the serve uh, going for the alley. So I have the situation here where you're serving on the do side or on the add side, and you can see where the A is. The A is always on the outside of the service box closest to that single sideline. So here I have it on the do side, and here I have it on the add side. Again, those are out, out wide serves. Uh, making your opponent reach for the ball way and getting off of the court that way you can take advantage right away. Uh, the second one you can kind of look at it starts with B and that is body. B stands for body and that is the other type of serve that you need to be able to hit. Alright so these are kind of the serves that you have to be able to hit. So we have alley and body. Body is right in the middle of the service box. That's usually uh, I like to use it a lot when I'm playing against uh, bigger, taller players, uh, even sometimes against uh, really fast players, because they really fast players tend to be able to move left and right, but they lots of times struggle when the ball goes right at them. They don't know how to get out of the way of, the, of their own body. So you have that body serve where you're going right at them and you're aiming right at the hips, so go right at those hips. And then the last serve you need is actually C, which stands for center. So we got alley, body, and center. And the center serve is really simple. That's just real simply where you aim right down the center of the entire court in that service box. And uh, the advantage of this, of this serve is that it's the closest uh, point to you and the ball will travel there the fastest and get through it the fastest. So that's probably your best chance of where you're going to get an ace just because of how fast the ball gets there and how fast it goes past that location. Uh, and, it's, and it's a far place for your return. The person has to reach way out to get it. So these are basically the six serves you need to have. You need to be able to place your serve in these three different locations on the do side and on the add side. And I want to think about this. Now you might be saying, well, you know Steve, I only have one serve. I can only hit a slice. Or maybe you can only just tap the ball in. Well, at least you have something. At least you have a serve. Now it's being able to easily hit those spots. And I want to show you something. Let's say you can hit those six spots. Okay? And you only have one type of serve. Well, if you only have one type of serve, six times one gives you six different types of serves that you can hit. I mean, think about it. If you're playing an opponent and you hit the alley, and then the next time you're up here, you hit down the center, and then the next time you hit to the body, I mean, you're constantly changing it up. And your opponent will never know what's going on. So even just with one serve, you have six possibilities, three on this side and three on this side. You can easily, easily confuse your opponent. I have played... When I, when I practice and I'm playing against someone weaker, lots of times I will practice one serve the entire time. I will only hit my slice serve the entire time. And guess what? I still win. I can still do it. And I'm still being able to take my opponent and confuse them. I've even played opponents that are better than me. And I have gone to one serve just because, you know, that serve really felt good that day. And I'm controlling it really good. And my opponent just can't seem to figure it out. There has been, there's been matches where I've hit a kick serve the entire time, first and second, the whole time, just mixing it up between these spots. Use that. Now, let's say you're a more advanced player. Well, there's basically four types of serves. You have the top spin serve, a flat serve, a slice serve, and a kick serve. So if we have four different types of serve, six times four, that gives you 24 possibilities. If you hit those three locations, the three on the deuce, three on the add, six total, and you have four different types of serves, that means you can hit a slice serve out here, you can hit a kick serve out here, a top spin serve out here, a flat serve out here. And then the same thing here, and then the same thing here. I mean, these three locations are the most important thing for your serving. You need to be able to hit those three locations 
and then start working on the different types of serves. So I hope you enjoyed that lesson. Leave me a comment below saying what serve, which serve do you use the most and what serve are you lacking? So what serve do you hit the most and what serve are you lacking? Leave that comment below. If you haven't liked us on Facebook, why haven't you? Like us on Facebook. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, get on there and subscribe. We're coming out with lessons all the time. We've come out with several just this past week. Uh, get, out, get out there, have some fun, learn some tennis, play some tennis, and I'll see you next time.